So in 2005, uh, 23 September, um, I was on a patrol. Me and five other guys were in an M113 armored personnel carrier. Uh, we rolled over an anti-tank mine. It flipped that tank over, or flipped, flipped the armored personnel carrier over. Uh, it killed two of my guys. Um, I was injured along with the other um, three guys that were, that were still alive. I sustained bilateral fractures to my right tibia and fibula. Shattered left tibia, both of my heel and ankle bones are shattered and dis dislocated right hip. Uh, 25 surgeries now later, um, I'm able to walk, I'm able to you know, be mobile and, and, and enjoy life. Um, and, and that's kind of where we are. We live, we live in Ramona, yes. We're originally, my wife and I are originally from Chicago, uh, moved to San Diego in 2012 and then uh, actually moved into our home in Ramona, or our, moved into our home in, um, in May of last year, of 2011, or 2020, 2020, yeah, because we're in 2021. <laughs> well, the fact that this community shows their respect and their appreciation for the men and women in uniform uh, means a lot to me. But most importantly, it shows the, uh, the, the, the support and appreciation for all of the people who have done so much for our country, all of our first responders that do so much um, for our communities. Um, and then uh, again, the men and women that, that are overseas that are, that are doing their part um, to, to, to make sure that our country continues to live up to the, uh, the Constitution and, and, and the, uh, the, the, the heart and, and the soul of, of what this country uh, it was founded on and, and they're out there doing that to, the, to this day. There's always a price to anything um, and, and freedom is just a price that many of us paid. You know, I paid with, you know, with, with my injuries. Uh, my fellow brothers and sisters in arms have paid it with their lives. Um, and, and, and our first responders are still paying for it through the, the, the efforts that they go through um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you know, when I look back 20 years ago to what took place, you know, I remember where I was and what was going on at the moment that um, those horrific um, incidents took place. And I will tell you that uh, it's, it's very important that this generation understands what took place then, um, not to, 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 uh, to sadden them, but just to make them aware of the amount of support that New Yorkers gave and, and those that were in surrounding areas gave to one another. The, the 343 firefighters that lost their lives that day did, did heroic events going into these towers when they were burning, when they, even when they were on their way down. I mean, these guys were still going in there because they did not want to leave their fellow brothers, you know, behind. And, and that's the type of stuff and type, type of um, heroism that, that these young people need to be uh, made aware of. And, and all of us, just, just as, as civilians and, and uh, but more importantly, as Americans. We need to be well aware of what took place, what continues to take place, and we need to continue to strive uh, to, to, to show that appreciation towards everybody, no matter what your, 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 your following is and, and, and your, your color or your, your religion, whatever that is, we are all Americans. We're in this fight together. So receiving a flag to me just shows the, the honor and the symbolism of what this great country um, uh, is surrounded by and that's love and support uh, for one another for our military for our first responders and for our community I've, I have fought for my flag and the honor of that flag and and many others before me currently and I'm sure well after me have done the same and will continue to do the same that's fight for the honor of that flag